Hey, what's up? It's Donna. Today we're going to be talking about Grusel Coin, and I'm going to break the video down into parts, and timestamps can be found down below. The first part is going to be the introduction, then the website overview, features, criticisms because no coin is perfect, the community overview, and my opinion. Okay, so Grusel Coin, what is it about that name? Grusel is actually an Austrian dish made of pork and potatoes. It's cut up into slices and put together. In the United States, this is called hash. Grusel Coin is also based on the hash function. Grusel, so it's sort of like a play on words. All right, let's now move into Coin Market Cap. So it was started in 2014 and it was valued at less than a penny, 0 0.004 cents. The circulating supply right now is about 68 million. Max supply is at about 105 million GRS. In 2017, it had a steady growth, um, a few spikes. But in November, it had a large spike. This project started on March of 2014. So why the sudden rise? One of the theories is that this is a response to Bitcoin Gold's failure. The goal of Bitcoin Gold was to make mining decentralized again. And believe me, that's the phrasing they used, not mine. If you don't know the mining space, mining has become centralized. In order for individuals to mine, you have to be in a place where electricity is cheap. You also have to have access to ASIC machines. Because of that, most of the mining happens in China. And mining has become centralized because it's now controlled by a small group of individuals. So Bitcoin Gold was a fork from Bitcoin that allowed GPUs to mine, removing centralization from miners. But Bitcoin Gold just didn't deliver. The community as a whole kind of saw it as a failure. Their code wasn't available till the very last minute. The website said they had replay protection but on their GitHub, they said they didn't. So as a result, ASIC resistant coins started rising up. So coins like Vertcoin and coins like Gruselcoin. Also as a result, people compare Vertcoin to Gruselcoin. And so the developers address this on and ask me anything on Reddit. What makes GRS unique from what VTC offers? Every coin has features that others don't have. Our selling points is the GRS infrastructure, parentheses, variety of many wallets we have to offer. Okay, so just looking at the website, it looks like a very clean website. A lot of people do not like the logo, but I think it's okay. Uh, I just don't know what the two up here means. It lays out the features pretty nicely, where to buy Grusel coin, the charts and prices, mining information, how to start mining, Grusel coin team, latest news. Okay, so this is something I want to talk about. Instead of the traditional roadmap that a lot of cryptocurrencies have, Grusel coin releases developments every three months, I believe. We have seen how other coins work with roadmaps. We wanted to avoid the when, when, when questions. So we pledged to release at least four new releases every three months. No question asked and always on time. Going on with the website overview, we have wallet downloads, how to get in touch, and that's basically it. They have an enormous list of features this coin has. And instead of just me regurgitating this information, I'm gonna leave this link down below for you to check out yourself. But I'm gonna mention what I think are the most important points. This is known as an ASIC resistant coin, but the Grusel algorithm isn't ASIC resistant by itself. It's a proof of work coin. And now proof of work coins aren't truly ASIC resistant. It isn't that the algorithm is ASIC resistant. It's that ASICs just aren't mining Grusel. Can an ASIC be developed to mine Grusel coin? Yes. This is something again that they address on their AMA. It is correct that Grusel algo is not ASIC resistant by itself. An ASIC can be made for any proof of work. The resistance comes from the threat and promise of changing the algorithm if one gets produced and marketed and if the community decides that we should hard fork. We will not hard fork if the community decides against it. If an ASIC is produced for the Grusel 512 mining algorithm and the community decides to change proof of work, a new proof of work algorithm will be chosen and a hard fork triggered. Basically what they're saying is that the promise of ASIC resistance comes that if there was suddenly an ASIC machine would start to mine Grusel coin the development team will hard fork to a new algorithm if the community decides so. Other features, it is the first to implement SegWit, very minimal transaction fees. What would you say sets this coin apart from others? In a sense, what makes this coin original that would be attractive in the eyes of future investors. In order to reach the masses, we pledge to make a broad variety of many wallets, so we target all users for mainstream adoption. Other things is that in 2018, they plan to do atomic swaps and Lightning Network is in development. So criticisms from the community is the coins branding. Um, I think this mostly comes from Americans because it's such a weird 
pronunciation of the word. Such a weird looking word. The team has said that they are open to a rebranding in the beginning of 2018, um, if that helps. Okay, so another criticism I've seen in the Reddit community is of their developmental team. What is your view on the development team remaining anonymous and how it will either go on to positively or negatively affect the coin? This is an established coin with a reputable history of accomplishments, not some coin where I want some arguable degree of comfort by looking at someone's face. The point of blockchain is to have an open source, trustless, privacy-oriented system. Don't trust anybody with your money. Trust the code. Faces don't give any trust to a coin. In fact, it gives a security issue. The last criticism I have is from me, and these are my opinions. So when I'm reading their white paper, it's mostly an implementation guide of the hash function groups. I got through the first two points, but after that, it just got really confusing. So since it talks more about the hash function, I think they can better create a white paper that speaks to the layperson. So when you're looking at the Ethereum white paper, for instance, the Ethereum white paper talks about the history of Bitcoin and a lot of things that can be better with Bitcoin and how Ethereum plans to kind of do this. I think if Gruselcoin made maybe a second white paper that kind of addresses the centralization of mining issues and kind of how Gruselcoin will solve this issue, I think that'll do a lot of good for the price. And I think it'll also help investors in the coin understand it more. Gruselcoin, I am not currently invested in Gruselcoin, but that doesn't mean that I think it's a bad coin. Oh, and disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Nobody on YouTube seems to be a financial advisor. So just take this as an opinion and not financial advice. Do I think that the price will increase? Possibly. In the cryptocurrency space, there's been lots of hype about different technology. First, it was privacy coins, then proof of stake coins, and now people are talking about ASIC resistant coins. And so if the community sees this need for decentralized mining and this fire keeps up, then of course Grusel coin will grow. But seeing how people can get hype about one type of technology and in an instant get hype about a new thing and forget about the old thing, I don't know. But as a whole, I do think that ASIC resistant coins and the decentralization of mining are important issues to consider. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like to see these type of videos, give this video a thumbs up and maybe I'll do another one. I'll see you guys next time. Stay psyched.